welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and today I'll be showing you guys how to use a gradient map and I'll also be explaining what a gradient map is and just showing you how you can add certain colors to your images and uh, change the tone of your images using these gradient maps. This is a pretty easy technique but it's very effective and I think it's also a very quick way to uh, just again change the overall tone of your image, change the mood in your image, make it more dramatic, make it brighter, and really do a lot of things in your image without having to actually do too much. But before we get into that, of course, I want to direct you guys over to my website at daviesmediadesign.com. We've got plenty of GIMP content on here, including video and text tutorials, as well as Project Translate and some other GIMP related items. And if you want to expand your knowledge on photo editing and GIMP, I recommend taking our course GIMP Photo Editing from Beginner to Pro Photo Retoucher. And of course, I'll include a link to this as well as a link to our Patreon page where you can support our channel and help us grow and get some extra GIMP content. All right, so here's our image I'm working with today. And I took this a few days ago. And all I've done here is I've added a gold gradient map to this. So this was a raw photo originally. So I made some adjustments to this in Darktable and then I opened it up into GIMP. This is version 2.10.2. This is the latest version of GIMP. And then I made some adjustments in here as well. I've got plenty of tutorials on image adjustments. But then what I did is I went ahead and added this gold gradient map here. And what that did is it just added some gold throughout our image here. I think this is a cool effect because it brings out the red in the brick in this particular case. It brings out the yellow in the uh, lighting here, and then it just gives the photo a, an overall golden look, and it just changes sort of the mood of the image. So I'll show you guys how to do this, and then I'll also just play around with some of the other gradients in here so you guys can see what various moods look like in your image. So to give you a brief overview of what a gradient map is, essentially it takes a gradient. So over here I've got my gradients dialog, and you can access this by going to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and click on gradients. And that may cause it to pop up over here or down here. Um, I can actually close one of these tabs. I don't need both. So it might pop up in one spot or the other. And so this has all of the preset gradients as well as custom gradients if you wanna create your own gradient. And so you could choose from any of these gradients, but basically what you're doing, so for example, I'll click on this blue green gradient and right click and go to edit gradient. And this will bring up your edit gradient dialog here. So you'll see you have various colors that this gradient is fading out to. It's got sort of a darker blue. And then at this point here, you've got a lighter blue. And then at this point here, even lighter. And then it just slowly goes to green here. Well, what the gradient map does is it takes the far left color and it maps that to the darkest parts of your image, the darkest pixels in your image. And then it takes the far right color and it maps that to the lightest pixels in your image. And then all the colors in between, it's going to map to the uh, colors of intensity in between the lightest and darkest. So basically your mid-tones are going to get assigned to this color here. And it's going to do this automatically. There's no dialog box or anything that pops up when you run this. So it's going to apply these colors automatically just based on the intensity of the colors in your image. So for example, let me come over here. And what you want to do to start is go ahead and duplicate your main image layer that you want to apply the gradient map to. And I'm actually gonna hide this gold one that we did before. And so if I click on here and come over here and make sure I'm clicked on the gradient that I wanna to apply to the gradient map. So in this case, the uh, blue green color that I have selected here. So we'll come over here, make sure we're clicked on this layer and you can go ahead and name this blue green based on the uh, gradient that you're mapping to this. So then I'll come over here to colors, map and select gradient map. And so you saw there, there was no dialogue or anything. It just automatically applied those colors uh, from the gradient to our image. And if we come back over here to our uh, representation of our gradient here, so you'll see again, the uh, far left color is blue and it wants to apply these darker blue colors to the darker parts of our image. So if we come over here and look at the darker parts of our image, which in this case was like down here in the bottom right and some parts over here, you'll see that these are a darker blue. And then if you look at the far right, we have this green sort of color or this greenish blue color. And our lightest parts of our image should have that color. And if you come over here, the sky was the lightest part of our image. You can see that it's got that blue green color. And same with the lights here, uh, the lights in the image, which all had that bright yellow color have uh, some hints of that green in here. And then our midtones should have uh, some of the colors in between here or should have a, a combination of the colors in the middle here. And so if you just look around throughout various parts of our image, you'll just notice, uh, depending on how dark the image was, those colors are shown here. So the brick, which was a fairly dark color, but not entirely dark, 
is uh, showing up more as this lighter blue color here. So I think you guys get the point there. But if we come back over here, now the cool thing about gradient maps is I can, uh, since this is on its own layer, I can adjust the layer mode. So something I like to use a lot with these gradient maps is the soft light. And you'll see this takes on a totally different tone now. And if I uh, decrease the opacity, I can kind of adjust the intensity of the effect. So this looks more like a darker image now, uh, a little bit more dramatic. Here was the original, here's the new one. So definitely change the tone of the image very easily, very quickly. And then I'll show you with the uh, gold gradient map as well. So let me go ahead and hide that blue green that I just created. And I can come over here, duplicate this, and I'm just gonna delete this original gold that I did. And I'll change this to gold. And so I'll come over here to my list of gradients and I'll just scroll down and here's the golden right here. So make sure I'm clicked on that. Come back over here, make sure I'm clicked on my gold layer and go to colors, map, gradient map. And now uh, the various parts of our image are mapped out based on the gold here. So let me come over here to my gradient editor. So the far left color here was this dark sort of gold color. And you can see uh, these darker areas again have that dark gold color. But actually the far right color is also a dark gold. So all of the light parts of our image are going to have that dark gold look to them. And then the midtones of our image are going to contain uh, these colors here. And there's such a variety of gold in here that there's just gold all over the place, different types, and uh, they're all assigned to different color intensities. So now I can come back over here, click on that gold layer, and again change the layer mode. I can do a soft light again if I want, and you'll see that just gives everything sort of a, a golden tint to it, which is kind of cool. Uh, or you can just try out any of these other uh, layer modes. Some of them work well, some of them don't. So there's linear light. and. Uh, you can also use like layer masks, things like that to mask out if you, you know, only want the building to have this gold and you don't want the uh, sky to have any of the gold, you can always use a layer mask to mask out the sky. I'm gonna just set this to soft light like I did for the other one, just because I think this has a cool effect. And so this is what this looks like before and then here's after. So you can see everything just has a slightly gold uh, tint to it. And then here's what it looks like with the blue green. So just a, a totally different effect. And so if you unhide both of these masks at the same time, you're gonna get sort of a combination of the both, which can also create a cool effect. So I'll hit Control Shift and uh, click on here to hide both of these layers and then hit Control Shift to show both of these. And you get a pretty cool effect with uh, the two of these combined. And I'm gonna go ahead and hide both of these again. And uh, so now what I can do is create a custom gradient and apply that uh, to the image in a gradient map. So uh, for example, I can create a uh, new copy of this and we'll just name this custom. And the easiest way, in my opinion, is to grab your gradient tool and then click on the gradient here and just change this to, uh, for now we'll do uh, foreground and background RGB. And so this is our foreground and background right here. And if I click and drag from the top left down to the bottom right and I have this shape, let's say I set this to radial and this is going to make our gradient you know, be a radial shape as opposed to linear where it's just going in a straight line. And actually I can drag this to the center so this radiates from the center of our image out to the outer part of our image. And now uh, if you're using GIMP 2.10 and above, you can click and create uh, various colors on here to try to customize the look of this. So I'll just change this color to red here. And there's a left color and a right color so you can actually set separate colors for uh, depending on which side of the uh, transition you're on for the gradient. And I go into this in more detail in my gradients tutorial, so definitely check that out. And then I'll click to create another uh, color here, and I'll just change this real quick to like this pink color here and click OK. And then I'll go ahead and grab another tool, and that will apply this gradient to our custom layer here. And I don't actually want this gradient to uh, be on this layer uh, because it's covering everything in my image, so I'll just hit Control Z and that'll remove that gradient. But when I come over here to my gradients dialog, that gradient is now in here as a custom gradient. And I can click on that, and then come back over here, make sure I'm on my custom layer, and go to Colors, Map, Gradient Map again. And now that applies all of the colors from our custom gradient to this image.
And of course, as always, I can come over here, change this to soft light, and uh, decrease the opacity here. And uh, the gradient that I just created, you know, it's kind of a bunch of weird colors combined, but uh, you guys get the point here. You can create your own gradients using whatever colors you'd like. So I'm just going to hide this and show the gold because that's the one I like the best. So there you have it, pretty easy tool to be able to change the tone or the mood in your images and just create some pretty cool effects. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Davies Media Design. You can also visit our website at daviesmediadesign.com. And of course, you can enroll in our GIMP photo editing course from beginner to pro photo retoucher. And I'll include a link to that as well as a link to our Patreon page where you can support our channel and help us grow. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.